Yeah, so our preparation really started back in May with just overall fitness. We wanted to make sure we came in in shape, um, healthy and fit so that we could train at a high intensity, but also just hit the ground running in terms of tactics and, and getting our team flowing together on the field. And that was a good start for sure. So the other piece to preparation has just been getting our team to know each other. You know, our sophomores are still similar to first years and their experience with the full fall season. We have a big group of first years. And so just getting you know, half of our team on the same page as the, the returners has been a big part of that preparation as well. We're trying to mesh on and off the field. So we've done some team bonding things that help them get to know each other off the field that hopefully helps the on-field connection quite a bit. But overall, just really excited to get back on the field and play against some other people than ourselves. Yeah, so we're really excited to get back on the field, uh, especially between that last, last year's fall season was a lot of practicing, a lot of conditioning, um, not a lot of playing due to COVID restrictions. And in the spring, we got a little taste of it, having um, two, like two scrimmages and one official game, um, which we proved that our offense is gonna be really exciting this year to watch like creatively. And we've scored a lot of goals in between our spring season and actually just this past weekend, um, beating Grove City like seven nothing. We had six different goal scorers. So I'm really excited um, <laughs> to see everyone get an opportunity to finish. I feel our schedule gives us, um, we have a great out of conference um, strength of schedule this year. So it's really setting us up to make a run to the tournament if we um, capitalize on these opportunities. Um, so capital is always very tough in the region um, and Otterbein was ranked um, a lot last year. So these are perfect opportunities to start our season strong um, and get moving really show that we can put it um, offensively, but also have the defense to stop these great teams from um, scoring on us. And it'll really um, test us in the first the beginning of the season and probably set a strong example of how the rest of the season will go. We're really just looking for our team to go out and play with confidence and try and pick up where we left off in 2019 with some of the experience that we gained in 2020. Um, really try and give everybody a fair shot at still competing and still earning minutes and still earning starting spots because everything's been so short this preseason that we're not even quite there in terms of full lineups and rotations yet. So really just come out with confidence and play. We'll fix things on the fly and hopefully all of the things that we've done in a short period of time really come together quickly and we can fix them as we go. We're, we're patient with the preseason games or the non-conference games because our big goal is to really compete in the UAA. So we need to use them as precursors to being competitive in our conference this year and hopefully winning more than two games.